spectator did not hang out on the people that are dead. But, okay, we have a Spearman. He's uh, trying to get the high ground advantage. It seems to have helped because he came back around with an overhead thrust and ended the match with a victory for red. Ah, it's a warm-up. Okay. So, because when I'm, you're talking to somebody who is streaming live, uh, so uh, live means something in a different context to me. But now I understand. Thank you very much. All right, so we have the Vikings versus the Saxons, IG representing the blue Vikings. Okay, so now I know blue is Vikings, red is Saxons. Uh, we have Thor the Under God scoring 1114 points over two kills. And that's all I have time to read right now. Thank you for the explanation, gentlemen and ladies. Join as observer. Now we have some misty docks. I like this map. I could see, wow, we could shoot such a trailer on this map. <laughs> uh, so those is trailers for uh, Paradox. And I hope to be shooting a War of the Vikings trailer in the future, we'll see. But anyway, getting back to the match here. Uh, Enjar has uh, gotten himself a little bit off the beaten path. He seems to be retreating back to the main fray. Although that, uh, I'd say that nearly cost him as he ran into one of the uh, the Saxons over there, an unknown Saxon. The wild swing by unknown Saxon up against Leeson and Enjar with uh, somebody with an H getting back up. I gotta learn these names. We've got uh, somebody, th was that throwing knives or throwing axes? I couldn't quite tell. We've got two on one with Enjar taking a defensive position. Now he's retreating to the safety of, well, relative safety of numbers. Now they are flanked on all three sides. Enjar has gone down, making it three to one, unless, no, it is three to two, excuse me. And uh, we have uh, Ed, H guy has been cut off. Leeson takes. players. I'd say that uh, IG and the uh, the Vikings put up a fairly good result while. Mm-hmm. Okay. Be reaching out to Moo. All right. Is Moo here today? Uh, right. So we have the Saxons charging in. Rather group. I don't know if there's any strategic significance to that, but I'm just mentioning it by way of I saw it happen. Uh, everything is spread up in a bit of a chaotic melee now, all staying fairly clustered as uh, the groups of teams kind of flow from side to side looking to stay. This one with a lot of Saxons remaining. I think it's now five to one. And we have one Saxon. Is that uh, one Viking remaining on the bridge? Unknown name to me goes down. And game over for that match. This is a really beautiful map. Oh, I just want to like rise out of the mist. Jay Carpenter, because this is a uh, this is a tournament. I'm doing this stream um, at the request of Aaron. Wait. And an IG clan to uh, to basically broadcast their tournament. Um, that they've organized between a number of different uh, play in many games, but in particular, uh, we have Saxon Shield Wall, Guards of Istinar, Keyboard Warriors. Legion of the White Ravens and Bogatir or Veringenjar. <laughs> uh, so they're all competing in this tournament of War of the Vikings today, and I uh, agreed to come and talk about the battles as I saw them occur, and uh, and basically just add a little spice to the show. So, but I think that they're using the stream as a, a, a way to study their opponent's strategy as well. Um, to uh, determine, you know, basically how to respond to their opponents in the next match. Now, Vikings took a more decisive victory that time. Sorry, I completely glossed over calling your match, but um, yeah, it, they ended with four live players and routed the routed the Saxons quite quickly there. So battle starts in ten. So we'll take a sip of my tea. Hopefully not. Okay. Well, I'm not sure that it. Maybe they were worried about early archer barrier, and then they broke and swarmed around the barrier. Small. 
small side melees. There's a one-on-one -on -one in the background there. And isolated Viking who's backed into a corner. Oh my. He was uh, routed before he... I don't think routed is the right word. He was killed. He was fatalized before he could uh, get his back to his comrades. But in the next match, battle starts in 12, 11. Ah, you can definitely feel the War of the Roses in this game, but it's very distinct. Uh, I love the <coughs> tile pattern on the roofs here in particular. It gives me a very a great sense of the architectural style appropriate for this era. So, I can't tell if spears can actually be thrown, but they want. I think he wanted to get a good range shot in. So we're clustered up in the center. We've got a one-on-one -on -one combat in the background. It's just rejoined the fray. Uh, something needs to be finished off. Looks like there's an opportunity for him to get him back to his feet. There we go. Not sure why he hesitated there. Um, let's see. Saxon on the other side of the barrier. Looks like the IG is in a good position. Vikings are likely to take this one. Another Saxon goes down, and I do have it, assuming that's still who's playing. All blue unknown for a while, so unclear to me what the uh, what the status is there. I'm going to join again as Observer. We have a few seconds before the map starts. All right. Just uh, take it down. Oh, and I like the, the reeds, like sort of subtle shifting and drifting in the reeds. It, it lets you know the water would be moving underneath. I haven't noticed that there's water sound effects. All right, moving up to the guard. IG, or, yeah, uh, Blue, or the Vikings, uh, made an early swarm around it and got into the center, whereas uh, Red, the Saxons, stayed a little bit more conservative and hung back. Now we're into the main melee. Uh, it looks like, it looks like Viking, or excuse me, Saxons are very much in the lead. They're getting, yeah, I think we're down to one Viking, or maybe two. They were isolated for a moment, and their isolation cost them, uh, they, oops. Oh, maybe it was just the one. I, that might have been a Saxon that went down there. I didn't have a name over him. Next battle. Oh, can check. Okay, I can check the score list by pressing stab, I've just learned. So I shall do that. Hey, thanks, Jay Carpenter. I appreciate it. I'm having fun. Let's see. There are long spears and they're throwing javelins. Okay, I'll try to keep my eye out for the difference. Well, I can see there being an advantage waiting behind the defensive wall and popping out to pop a uh, pop a ranged weapon before going into melee and joining the fray. I think once people know you're there, they're just going to come around for you. But uh, getting that first shot out and then jumping into the fray seems like a pretty smart opening move. All right, well, I'm learning as much as quickly as I can about how the strategy in this game works. If you have any further, uh, basically, comments to add about what I should be looking for or uh, what you guys are all looking to see, let me know in the chat, and I shall endeavor to let you know right now I'm just as I'm waiting for the match to start I just picked up my 3D printed piece here and I'm trying to shave some more plastic off it without wrecking my fingers I might have to throw this it's a PLA and it doesn't sand very well <laughs> I should probably be talking about Viking stuff huh but I don't know I, don't, I mean this is um, the, the stuff in front of me is the Viking stuff I know about so <laughs> um, well, let's actually take a look at this waiting screen I like this it's a Kubrickian uh, Kubrickian shot framing, very symmetrical, which has a nice kind of strange, otherworldly geometric sense to it. Uh, I do like I do like symmetrically framed shots with the holy cross on a, I don't know if that's a grave marker or just some more of an altar or a monument in the background there before the temple doors uh, with the a pair of flaming torches. Uh, on either side of the stone doors, the shadows of the trees play beautifully across the stone wall there. And they definitely... I mean, people, people don't often appreciate the value of uh, shadows, especially foliage shadows and, and interesting shapes and shadows as they play across a form and contributing to the composition of a scene. Oh, let's see. Here is the score. Uh, let's see. Here's tab to show what this shows. Looks like SSW, and uh, there's nobody loaded on the Viking side. And I am. that's all the score I'm able to see, unfortunately. Roids for life. Also, roids for life. Roids? Really? <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, I was just talking about the scene here. That wall would look awfully flat, and it would not uh, tell us a lot about the depth of the scene were it not for that shadow because of the fact we have these two pillars in the middle ground on the left and the right that interrupt the shadow and create a nice sense of contrast where the shadow is obstructed by the pillar 
Uh, it helps tell us how much further in the foreground those pillars are, and it just gives the scene a lot more interest in read, and it helps us to focus on the foreground as well. Um, and it just makes the whole scene very engaging. Now I'm noticing maybe this is a time of day change, but that shadow is getting a lot softer. There's maybe some mist rolling in. We're waiting for VRNG to join. VRNG or Beringar or Bogatir, as uh, my uh, cheat sheet has listed for me here. Uh, right, so it looks like uh, they're starting to roll in. Aras, Golasis, Golasisa, so VRNG, Vern, uh, VRNG, and uh, the Saxons is SSW. So, I'll try to check the score a little more often, and just for the sake of, let's see, so we have VRNG rolling in from some kind of like courtyard here, going into a courtyard, there's a big visually obstructing monument. This seems to be a theme for the design of these small skirmish maps, is, uh, is obstructing the pathway through the map. We have the SSW on the other side, again, a very flirty style they seem to have. Uh, I don't know if this is uh, out of this teasing and testing of defenses and basically looking for that perfect Perfect opening hit uh, We've got a couple of SSW coming around uh, but we have a two-on-one involving a VRNG player that's been rou uh, routed uh, killed been brought to justice, as it were. Now just waiting to die. Now VRNG's one has just been brought down completely. It looks like this one is own territory, no less. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, and the score. When Aaron once said, "Can you press stab occasionally to check the team score list, please?" and I'm like, "Stab." Well, what about this tab button? But it never actually occurred to me. Oh, right. Tab. Press. Single S. Stab. Probably meant press tab. But there we are. Here we have the multiplayer arena stats. Pushing aggressively, pushing them back, and uh, who's? Oh, we have a wide mission to uh, to flank the enemy to get into a good sniping position. And now he's taking so far back that probably nobody will notice him until he takes a shot, unless he hangs out here for too long. He looks like he's rejoining the person. I couldn't tell, but I didn't hear a shot go off. And it looks like SSW has got this again. Their flirting tactics seem to have paid off in spite of the. aggressive push by VRNG and they have defeated. Let's start reporting on pains. Who cares about score? Stab. <laughs> that starts. All right, so we have VRNG and they are staying fairly tightly packed, but range of VRNG goes left from this perspective. Uh, we have a single Axeman going around. Pretty well split up at the moment from what I can tell. But it looks like they're on all sides of the two. Well, it's a very um, the moment though, with uh, the Saxons mostly defeated and together and taking out the final Saxon. Is there? Is yes, there is the ranged Saxon waiting on the other side of the wall. Ooh, he revealed his position, taking out one fellow, but he was absolutely discovered after that point. I think VRNG took that one. Very good, VRNG. Nice. It's in trouble when he poked his head around the wall there and got caught taking that shot. Hmm, let's see, what is Roids? Uh... <laughs> unknown versus unknown, that's for sure. Thank you, uh, Para, Para uh, Kelsis, for helping me to, uh, W Saxons and the Vikings for VRNG. Bird's eye view of the, of the scene and with everybody's name in place and just...
perhaps a display of superior skill here in the corner. Let's go look. Uh, Viking going down. A, uh, let's see, an SSW member bringing back to life one of his fallen comrades. It looks like we've got four remaining. Yep, and SSW takes it. Uh, I can't. Help go given that you have you're always wheeling on your heels in this game when you're in somebody headed back into a corner especially if they're isolated although with that performance uh, recovering from a two-on-one in the corner said for or the recoverability of that situation SSW hanging clockwise and uh, these guys generally backing to join them we've got two VRNG uh, pushing on the right tree by these grave sites uh, let's see axe versus shield and sword but we have overhead we have the support of a bowman. It does not look like it's actually resolved the problem. He's decided to come down and bring his axe to bear. Uh, whose shield was lost somewhere along the way, and that was decisive. 